Welcome back to your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit. Global trade wars are once again making waves, and this time the impact on the automotive industry could be monumental. With the US imposing aggressive tariffs on imports from China, Mexico and Canada, and China responding with calculated countermeasures, the ripple effects might disrupt everything from EV production to supply chains worldwide. Automakers and car enthusiasts alike are bracing for what could be a historic shift in the industry. What does this mean for the future of electric vehicles and the broader automotive landscape? Buckle up as we dive into the eight key ways this trade war could change the automotive world forever. Reason number eight, critical minerals, the hidden weak link in EVs. Essential minerals like lithium, cobalt, and nickel are the backbone of electric vehicle batteries and advanced components, making them indispensable to the EV industry. China dominates the global processing and supply chain for these materials, giving it significant leverage in trade disputes. If China decides to restrict exports, the EV industry in the US could face an unprecedented crisis. Automakers like Tesla, Ford, and GM rely heavily on these minerals to meet their EV production goals. A disruption could lead to delays in vehicle rollouts, skyrocketing prices for EV batteries, and a slowdown in the transition to clean energy. To counter this, some companies are investing in domestic mining projects and recycling technologies, but these efforts are years from meeting current demand. This trade war highlights the urgency for the U.S. to diversify its supply chains or risk stalling its EV revolution. Reason number seven, tariffs on automotive parts, a costly blow for consumers. The automotive industry is a global network with parts sourced from multiple countries and assembled across continents. Tariffs on Chinese imports, including essential components like chips and battery modules, could increase production costs for EVs and traditional vehicles alike. For consumers, this could mean higher sticker prices, potentially pricing EVs out of reach for middle-class buyers. In past trade wars, automakers attempted to absorb costs, but the scale of these tariffs might make that impossible. This scenario could create a divide where only premium vehicles remain viable, slowing mass adoption of affordable EVs. Could this trade war unintentionally favor traditional gas-powered cars due to lower initial costs? Reason number six, supply chain disruptions, the domino effect on automakers. The US-China trade war exacerbates existing supply chain vulnerabilities, which were already strained by the COVID-19 pandemic. Components like semiconductors and battery cells, essential for EV manufacturing, are likely to face delays or shortages. A single bottleneck in the supply chain can derail production lines, creating ripples throughout the industry. For startups like Rivian and Lucid Motors, which are already operating on tight margins, this could be devastating. Established automakers may consolidate their positions, but at the cost of innovation and competition. As production targets slip, consumer trust in the reliability of EV availability might waver, slowing adoption rates further. Before we delve deeper, do us a favor and smash that like and subscribe button. This helps us reach more auto enthusiasts just like you. Now let's shift gears and steer towards our next point. Reason number five, the global ripple, impact on emerging EV markets. Trade conflicts between two superpowers have global consequences. Emerging markets in Africa, Southeast Asia, and Latin America, which rely on Chinese goods and investments, might face their own set of challenges. For countries investing in EV infrastructure, such as India and Brazil, the ripple effects could delay projects or inflate costs. Additionally, European automakers like Volkswagen and BMW, which rely on stable trade relations between the US and China, might find themselves caught in the crossfire. The fragmentation of global markets could hinder collaborative efforts to combat climate change through EV adoption. Could this trade war shift the balance of automotive power to regions less affected by these tensions? Reason number four, retaliation in the EV space, China's next moves. China's history of retaliatory tariffs suggests that their next moves could specifically target industries where the U.S. is vulnerable. The EV sector, which is central to the Biden administration's green energy goals, 
could be a prime target. China might impose tariffs on US-made EVs exported to China or limit access to key technologies. Tesla, for instance, has a significant market share in China. Any restrictions could severely impact its bottom line, forcing it to rethink its global strategy. Meanwhile, Chinese EV manufacturers like BYD and NIO might capitalize on the situation to expand their influence in other markets, posing a direct threat to US automakers' dominance. Reason number three, shifting alliances in the auto industry. Trade wars force countries and companies to reconsider their alliances. With US-China tensions escalating, Europe and Asia might strengthen their ties with China, leaving US automakers isolated. This could lead to new trade deals favoring non-US EV manufacturers, giving them a competitive edge in cost and market access. For example, Japan's Toyota and South Korea's Hyundai are already leaders in hybrid and EV technologies. These companies could exploit the instability to secure partnerships with Chinese suppliers or expand their presence in regions like Africa and Southeast Asia. The U.S. risks losing its foothold in the global automotive hierarchy if it cannot navigate these shifting dynamics. Reason number two, innovation stalled by economic uncertainty. Trade wars create an environment of economic unpredictability, which can stifle innovation. Automakers may redirect funds from research and development to mitigate immediate costs or adapt to new regulations. This shift could slow advancements in EV battery technology, autonomous driving and charging infrastructure, critical areas for the future of mobility. Startups, often at the forefront of innovation, might struggle to secure funding in this volatile climate. This could lead to a consolidation of the market, where only the largest players survive, potentially reducing diversity and competition in the EV space. Can the automotive industry afford such a setback during this pivotal moment for electrification? Reason number one, a defining moment for the automotive industry. The US-China trade war represents more than just an economic clash. It's a pivotal moment for the future of the automotive sector. As both nations dig in their heels, the industry faces challenges that could reshape its trajectory for decades. Will automakers innovate their way out of these constraints? Or will the trade war create a divide that stunts global progress in EV adoption? This turning point could force automakers to rethink their supply chains, prioritize local manufacturing, and invest in alternative materials. While the road ahead is fraught with uncertainty, one thing is clear. The decisions made during this trade war will define the automotive world for generations. Final thoughts. The US-China trade war is more than just a geopolitical skirmish, it's a seismic event for the automotive industry. From essential minerals shortages to shifting global alliances, the ripple effects will test the resilience of automakers and the EV market. What do you think? Will the industry overcome these challenges, or are we facing a roadblock that could stall progress? Share your thoughts in the comments below, we love to hear from you. For the latest updates on the automotive world and more in-depth analysis, subscribe to Piston Pundit and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching and see you next time.